Hat making was a skill that flourished in bygone years, but well, today in this age of mostly baseball caps, it's pretty much forgotten. Well, Ken Wilshire found a fellow over in Covington, Tennessee, who still carries on the tradition. In fact, if it's a hat you want, this guy's got you covered. You know, dermatologists say it's really a good idea to wear a hat on a hot, sunny day like today, and trying to find a hatter these days, well, uh, well, speaking of hatters, this is Buckaroo Hatters here in Covington. We're gonna go in and see if we can find one. Well, we certainly came to the right place. The shop is full to the brim, so to speak, with hats of all shapes, sizes, and colors. And if you want one made to your own personal requirements, then Mike Moore is the person to see. And this string tells me I can make this customer's hat. Mike started making hats around the turn of the century, the 21st century that is. It's an age-old art that's being preserved by only a few hundred hatters across the United States. And Mike Moore is one of the best. Well, I kind of just had been a history nut and I've always had a passion for hats and I never could find that white hat. So I would just uh, take modern cowboy hats and do things to them and cut the crowns out of them and sew them back. And I'd wear it to an event and somebody would buy that one off my head, literally speak of. And I'd come back and I'd make another one. And that was just my passion because I grew up uh, always wearing a cowboy hat. You know, I'm at the age that I watched Roy Rogers and Dale Evans and Gene Autry, so that was kind of my, my love. I wanted to be a cowboy, okay? But while cowboy hats are his top sellers, the fedora and other more traditional hats are making a comeback. Right now, the ratio is probably about 30% of my sales are in fedora hats where 70% uh, stays into the true Old West modern cowboy look hat. No matter what the style, when the size and color are selected, Mike begins his creation using the finest materials and some of the original hat making tools from the 18 and early 1900s. When you the customer decided what hat that you want, I take it and I put it into a machine called a plater. What I'm doing at that time on the platers, I'm just trying to get what's called a brim break line where the crown and brim meet at. Then from there, I'll take it out of the plater and I'll take the hat block that I've chosen to make your hat off of and I will pull that hat body down onto that block. I'll pull it down and push and pull and pull till I get it all on there. Then I tie a special little rope with a knot called a hatter's knot and cinch it up tight. I put that hat body onto a spanner that I spin and I sand that crown with different grits of uh, sandpaper to take it from a rough, like a corn cob, down to a silky, velvety smooth. Once I've got that done, I will then take some alcohol and score it onto that crown and set it on fire and singe any remaining fibers that are sticking up and sand it again because I want that hat crown to be just as smooth as silk when you touch it. So once we've got that done, I'll cut the brim down to the correct size for your hat. And then from there, we'll take it and we'll sew the sweatband in. Then we'll go sew the bound edge if that's what the customer wanted. Then we'll put the bow and ribbon onto the hat. Mike, you said that uh, just about anybody could wear a hat and it kind of changes their personalities when they do. So what do you think? Nah, no, not it, yeah. huh? No, that's not it. Got one for you here that I really like. This is, I think this is me. What do you think? The crown, yes. The color, no. no. Not your size. Let me hand you one I think is similar to that that's in your size. This is kind of mimics your hero's hat right there a little bit. Oh, hop along, Cassidy. Oh, my goodness. Boy, that gives me goosebumps. So that's a good look on you. But the secret is, is you wearing the hat, not the hat wearing you, okay? And the role of a, of a hatter uh, is to work with you, the customer, and determine what really is the best style. 
Uh, but also, I think that, uh, you know, you might want to be, since we're in the great state of Tennessee, may have a little loyalty to something or other. Oh. Uh, try, try the UT hat on. Oh, where's the Rocky type? There man? we go. There that we is go. you right there, That's okay? Me. That's right. your hat right there. Go balls. Word about Mike's quality and attention to detail is out for sure. Buckaroo hats are receiving worldwide recognition. Still, he continues to pursue making that perfect hat and really hopes he doesn't, so he'll always have something to strive for every day. And happy customers leave with a new look, even if it's a rocky top topper. Howdy, man. Pick up that door for you.